Alright guys, I'm here to uh, give you instructions on how to properly load the trigger cannon. Uh, we're going to tell you how to properly load the 17, the 22, and uh, the 30 caliber. Uh, we're going to start out with the 22 caliber since it's the one that comes standard on the trigger cannon. The 17 and 30 are optional barrels. So you take your barrel off the carriage, you'll use your Allen wrench, a uh, four millimeter Allen wrench, which takes the, the screws off each side of the carriage. Very simple to do. And you don't have to do that to load it. You can load it on the carriage, but in this instance, it's easier for me to show you how to do it with it off the carriage. So basically, I start out, I like to start out before I do anything, and I like to cock it. Let me get it cocked here. And put your pin in the cocking. There we go. Just like so. So it's just like it's cocked and ready to shoot. Now what I want to do is I want to stick that pin all the way in there so we don't have no accidental misfire. You want to screw your tip off, like so. And once you get your tip off, this is the 22 caliber. I like to take the 209 primer. Here's a 209 primer. And I like to get a little piece of masking tape. And I will put this masking tape just on the around the outside of that primer. It's very simple to do. And I'll just drop it right in the end of this, like so. It won't fall out when you when you tilt the barrel back and do some elevation. Then you take your 22 lead ball and drop it right in the front. And you may need to use your ramrod. Just keep your finger on the back side of it and just kind of gently push it and make sure it's good and solid down towards the back side of the, the barrel end. Then you'll take your, your barrel and you'll just screw it right on the end of it. Like so and you are ready to go. It's cocked and ready. So you want to be sure you treat this, this like a gun. Uh, you don't want to point it in any directions you shouldn't point it. Don't point it in anybody's face um, or at your own face. And uh, just use extreme caution. Now next what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to do the 30 caliber. The 17 caliber will load just like the 22 caliber except the 17 must be loaded from the back side. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. You'll do the same thing with the primer. Here's the 17 caliber except the 17 caliber you're going to want to load it through this side because the ramrods uh, will only fit through the back side like so so you want to drop it at the 17 in the back side and you can see it's there and you will get your ramrod and gently push it down inside the the barrel now drop down just a hair and that's okay it won't hurt a thing and then you want to take your primer and uh, do exactly the same thing that i showed you there with the 22 caliber and uh, screw it back on the barrel and you're ready to go with the 17 and that's the only difference between the 17 caliber and the 22. The 30 caliber, you will always have to load it from the from the breech or from the I'm sorry from the front side of the the barrel. Um, you do the exact same thing. You have the barrel the the back of the barrel uh, cocked. You want to put your primer in. You could use the tape if you want. You don't have to use the tape on the primer, but I like to do that myself so it don't fall out. And then you take your 30 caliber ball, which is a good size ball as you can see here nice size barrel and you want to drop it in the front now this one here sometimes they'll fit really tight so you have to really get those in there which creates a good a good seal on that ball and there you can see that i've got it good and packed in there uh, screw it on your barrel and you're cocked put it back on your carriage and you're ready to go so have lots of fun just be careful enjoy you uh, shooting your trigger cannon. If you got any questions, feel free to email us or call us. And uh, if you hadn't bought your trigger cannon yet, you can buy them at pyrocreations.com. Thanks.